Hey everyone, I'm greeting you from the studio today. I'm about to embark on making some new prints. They're a bit larger than usual. And uh, my walls are nice and white for when I get back from Italy. I'm going to Italy for three weeks and my goal was to just kind of have everything set up so that when I get back with all of my inspiration, I'll be ready to go. So um, right now I'm just gonna get ready and ink up some plates and stay tuned. So what I have here is the plate. This is an encaustic holograph, so I've gone over this plate with all of these different symbols, and I am going to ink it with this ink, Akua ink, which is a combination of colors, um, yellow ochre and diarylide yellow, which gives it kind of that inner glow that you see there. Um, so we're gonna get started. Okay, so I have soaked the rice paper, which is a big piece of, I think it's 24 by 39. And I have it set on the press with the plate now. So I'm gonna go ahead and print the dry point etching. I haven't done a plate this big in a while, or this long. I've done some pretty big plates, but I just haven't done them this long before. Almost the whole width of the press bed, which is 24 by 48. All right. The moment we've been waiting for. Actually, this is the first print. It's going to go on the same piece of paper. Um, and then the next one is the Collagraph print. can remove this and print this. This I have it marked so that I know exactly where to put the plate so that it will match up with where the other print is on the piece of paper. Yes, there is precision involved with this for sure. <laughs> but I try not to get too worked up about the details. And I'm definitely not uh, a traditional printmaker, so I, I allow for errors because I think that you can learn from your errors and you can even maybe make some great discoveries with them too. meditative part of the process. Okay, it's ready to go. And the paper, the, the, uh, the newsprint is put on top just to absorb the moisture of the paper and also to uh, protect the blankets in case the ink comes through the paper. And because the paper's so thin, there's a chance that that could happen and 
get on the blankets here. So here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I've been waiting to make these prints for a couple of years now, believe it or not. And uh, finally making them this afternoon, so. Okay. <laughs> The big reveal is about to happen. This could be a total disaster or it could be a total surprise. That is the great thing about printmaking is that you will always be surprised. It's a very magical process. So with this Japanese paper you can really put a lot of pressure on it and I'm seeing that it's really gotten a lot of pressure here. So let's just check it out. Okay, here we go, roll them. All right. All right, it came out, yay! I'm so happy, it worked out.